All right, what's up, boxy fans? It's Aztec 101. So this video is going to be about a potential fight between Errol Spence and Sebastian Fundora. Uh, this fight is supposedly set for October, for October, according to Mike Coppinger. I think he's the one that broke the story. So uh, Fundora versus Spence sounds like a really good matchup. I'm just a bit confused with what's going to happen with the WBO. From my understanding. Um, Crawford versus Madrimov is for the WBO interim, right? And the main reason why they have this interim fight is because Fundora, who has the WBO World Championship title, he was under medical suspension. And this interim fight is just to see who's going to fight Fundora next. So it's interesting that they're talking about Errol Spence fighting Fundora. So I don't know what's going to happen with the WBO. Will the WBO end up stripping them and just give the, the title to the winner of Crawford versus Madrimov? I'm, I'm going to keep an eye on what's happening there. Uh, but I would suspect that the WBO is probably going to strip Fundora. Uh, I'm curious to know, too, what would Fundora want to do if it was completely up to him? Because I'm, I feel like uh, it's the PBC side that's pushing... Fundora to face Spence even though in my head I'm thinking why would you risk wanting to fight Spence um, who's still you know an amazing talent but uh, wouldn't you want to fight Crawford Crawford the one that was undisputed at 147 the guy that beat Spence uh, if I were Fundora I would rather hold on to that WBO and wait to see what happens between Crawford and Madrimov before making any decision on anything uh, so I'm, I'm curious to know, is PBC forcing Fundora to fight Spence? You know, because the, the route, the logical route would be, hey, wait until August, wait until August and then find out what happens. You're still under your medical suspension. So, you know, you don't have to make a decision right away. Um, but then again, why wait? Fundora, maybe he's confident in himself and he might be like, you know what? This is a great opportunity. I can go after Spence. And even if I lose the WBO, if Crawford wants to unify with the WBC, he's going to have to go through me. So, you know, I, I, I could see why Fundora will take the Spence fight. But I do think that this is kind of uh, somewhat pressure from the PBC to get titles back in Spence's, Spence's hand. Uh, I don't know how Spence is going to get a, is getting a title shot uh, out of everybody at 154. Him uh, just coming off a loss and this long ass layover, he's the last one to to ask for a title shot. You know what I mean? That's that's just from my perspective. Um, but I do think that it's a fun fight. I'm not mad at the matchup. I'm not mad at the matchup at all. You guys, let me know. What do you think? Uh, do you think that the WBO will strip Fundora or will they allow him to keep the title? Uh, maybe give him an exemption uh, just for this fight alone. And then whoever wins the, the, the fight will have to face, will be forced or mandated to face Crawford or Madrimov, whoever wins there. Uh, you guys let me know. What do you think? How do you feel about the 154 pound division? And who do you think out of all the fighters that are creeping up to the top? Who do you think is uh, going to walk away as undisputed at 154? This is Aztec 101 in the ring and I'm out.